AC Transit is an innovator in zero emission technology. AC Transit is a spatial transit district that serves the communities of Alameda and Costa Costa County. We provide various transportation options for our 1.5 million community members. We have a large population that does not have a transportation option and AC Transit really is the only means for transportation. We serve them with not only reliable transportation options but also clean transportation options. Because we were early adopters with the zero emission technology, there was no blueprint available. We literally created it ourselves. More than two decades ago, we launched with a single bus out of our Richmond division, and then we scaled up to three buses here at our Oakland division, and then we expanded the fleet to 13 buses. Now we've got an order in for another 45 buses. The fleet continues to grow, the technology continues to evolve. The AC Transit for over 20 years has been really leading the way on not only deploying new unknown technology, learning from that experience, and then working with the manufacturers to advance that technology. Right now we're operating the fourth generation of fuel cell buses, and we've also, we're building the second and third generation of infrastructure for battery electric bus and also for hydrogen fuel cell technology. One of the things that we've learned as an early adopter of, of zero emission bus technology is not to deploy something today that is out of date by the time we deploy it. The technology moves so fast that what we have to do is we have to think two years ahead because that's kind of our standard project cycle for the infrastructure. And the infrastructure has to be in place before the buses show up. So we're very strategic uh, when we plan on a bus purchase. And we do that through the request for proposal process and we're very specific from courses to training aids to time with the manufacturer and the subcomponent suppliers that the manufacturer works with. That sets us up for success. AC Transit's Clean Corridors Plan reduces uh, toxins in the air by replacing on a one-for-one -one, a diesel bus that is a polluter with a zero emission bus, therefore reducing all the pollutants that are transmitted into the air. And just to give an example, the Clean Quarters Plan calls for 454 buses. That's an extraordinary amount of pollutants that we're going to remove from the air. Because we're a special district, we have an elected board which has been able to provide policy guidance and allowed us to kind of reach to the future as opposed to reacting to what's happened in the past. And so their forward thinking is then passed down into our projects and how we implement the technologies. For zero emission to work, it takes recruiting and hiring the right people. People matter as much as the product. There is no way that product exists on its own. Everything about public transit is people. We service people and we want people to work in it. We want them to do it safely. We want them to do it skillfully. And everything we do, we're gonna make accessible and scalable. And that's how our career ladder programs work. And that's what we're gonna to use to survive and evolve with this technology. AC Transit is absolutely leading the way in the transit industry. Not only are we developing the procurement process, the deployment, the maintenance, we're also innovating in how we train the future generation of technicians, of operators, of our leaders, our management team. So AC Transit's Career Ladder Program, it's a maintenance mechanic career ladder program. And at the core of that program, is really supporting those folks, those employees, without any skill sets to have an opportunity to advance their career. If you've got the interest and you've got the desire, but you don't have the skill set, we are able to work with you and provide you a career path. So AC Transit Study is a roadmap on how to successfully deploy zero emission buses. We went through many hurdles over 20 years and we overcame those hurdles. And we put that in the study and in our plan so that other transit agencies, not only in the state of California, but around the globe, can benefit from the challenges that we already face. To make zero emission buses work, we need federal and state governments and legislators to work together to provide resources and infrastructure so that we can continue to successfully deploy not only the fleets that we have today, but the scale-up that will be required for the entire state by 2040.